Rolex 24 hour 18, Green Dawn. A stunning sunrise at Daytona signaled the start of the final quarter of the Rolex 24, as a record was broken for the longest green flag running in the race's history. Lap 602 saw 246 consecutive laps completed under green, breaking the previous record set in 2018. By the end of the hour that had been extended to 274 laps, coming over 7 hours and 37 minutes. We remain on course for a new record distance as well, with only 16 laps under caution so far. The sunrise greeted a comfortable-looking DPI picture for the number 10 Wayne Taylor racing Cadillac, with Ryan Briscoe taking over duties from Ranger van der Zanda. The latter set a relentless pace to put a full lap on the rest of the field before the handover. Some of the other cars seemed to be falling off a little bit and this one just kept going, van der Zanda said, describing his time in the car as flawless. It was a good job the team had enjoyed such a strong night, however, with Briscoe coming through the pit soon after getting in the car but not stopping as he managed to resolve a power steering issue. There was another Cadillac in second place in the form of the number 5 JDC Miller entry being driven by Loic Duval, but after running in the top three for much of the night a flat left rear tire for the number 31 towards the end of the hour further hurt the Action Express Cadillac's chances having already dropped behind the Mazdas. Ben Keating returned to LMP2 action for PR1 in the number 52 after stints during the night in the number 74 Riley Motorsports AMG in GTD. Keating had delivered an eye-catching stint for PR1 at the start of the race, but the car lost four laps sat in the pit lane for repairs after a suspected hit with the wall. It was a disastrous spell for Keating as just a matter of moments later. The number 74 coasted to a halt at the pit entry and needed pushing to its garage by the crew, losing ground in the GTD fight. Porsche is starting to edge away at the front of GTLM with the number 912 leading the number 911 by a little over 13 seconds, and the paid half a minute clear of Jordan Taylor in the number 3 Corvette as the earlier stop to change brakes left the number 24 BMW a minute off the lead. The number 4 Corvette returned to action at 7 a.m., around 8 hours after it had gone behind the wall due to a major oil leak. The car was never officially retired as the team looks to get as much mileage as possible to learn about the CAR on its global debut. All of that means the GTD race is the closest on track with 6 hours remaining, with Mirko Bertolotti hunting down Madison Snow in the number 48 Paul Miller Motorsports Lamborghini cutting the gap in the number 88 WRT Audi to under 10 seconds. Of the 38 runners to start, only the two Aston Martin GTD entries are confirmed retirements, with the number 4 Corvette back in the race and the number 19 gear racing Lamborghini also not retired despite two hours and counting behind the wall.